Welcome to G3 Investors. Week 37 ended September 16th, 2022. Will go down as the worst week for stocks since June 10th of this year. Looking at a chart of the S&P 500 here, and you can see this big red bar. We broke support at 3,900, and you have to go back to that bar there to get an a ugly-looking week like this one. It started out with year-over-year -year CPI inflation. Let's look at a daily chart. There we go. Um, CPI inflation came in hotter than expected at 8.3% on Tuesday. Then FedEx dropped over 21% on Friday after pulling its earnings guidance for the year over signs of a slowing global business. And that put the nail in the coffin. As you can see here on Friday, it broke below 3,900 on the SPX. Now, if we look at the NASDAQ composite index, you can see that it had support at 11.5 here, and it broke that support uh, as well. Everything was pretty ugly. I mean, there's just nothing. The NASDAQ was down 5 point, uh, minus 5.5%, and the S&P 500 was only at 4.8, but still both were pretty, pretty bad. Our model, um, how did we do? Well, let's take a look. We gained very little. I think we gained 750 bucks for the week, but we are, our current month, we're at 3.6%. So this is probably the worst month we've had so far this year, starting out at, at any rate for three weeks into the, to the month. Um, we're beating a, the snot out of our benchmark comparisons, if you look at it on a year-to-date basis. So we're still doing very good there. Go back. Let's take a look at some of the ETFs that we trade. First one I want to look at is XLF, the financial sector. And believe me, that's an ugly chart, but that's about that and energy. That looks a little bit better. It's above the 50-day and a 200-day. And, of course, natural gas is, well, it's actually broke down. Broke down below its 50-day. So, But those are still the two to be at best ETFs in the bunch. Um, healthcare used to be pretty strong, but it's looking weaker and weaker as time goes on. Trading below both its 200-day, the red line, and the and it's in the 50 day, the, the blue line here. <clears throat> Let's look at the industrial. I always like to look at that. Wow, what a move down. That is a gap down, folks. And of course, the transports, you can imagine how bad they look with Federal Express. Yep. Yeah. Looks like we're going to be testing these lows back here in June, uh, without a doubt. That one. I always like to look at the mid cap 400 growth. That looks pretty bad as well. Well, our, as I said, our model was stopped out of 17 long positions on Tuesday when the, the inflation numbers came out and, and it just got worse as the week went on. Uh, we presently have no open positions. And before I go here, I do want to take a look at the heat map. You can see there's financials getting hit pretty hard. And there's, there's UPS and FedEx. They both got smoked. And uh, industrials hit pretty hard there. Real estate. Energy held up pretty good in healthcare. And there's Tesla, Netflix, Starbucks. Just a little bit of green on the screen. 
Well, that's all for this week's video. I'm Greg Gallagher. Good luck and good trading.